Hi, my name is Maxim Maros. I'm in group three, and today I'm teaching the pre-K students, the class of math. I'll be teaching my students how to add numbers from one to ten. Taking the class, the education of young um, children, my philosophy of education was mostly influenced by Friedrich uh, Froebel and his uh, theory of observation and um, teaching kids uh, through play and also Lev Vygotsky theory of uh, zone of proximal um, development and um, scaffolding. So uh, I'll di divide my uh, class into two stages. The first stage is I want to make sure that my students can easily count from 1 to 10. In order to achieve this task I'll be using these counters. I'll um, ask all of my students to play this game, to move this um, yellow dot from this uh, side to this side, counting 1 to 10. It will look like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I will make sure that all my students can easily count 1 to 10. Uh, while they perform this task, I will observe them and um, provide them with the necessary help they need. The students, some students will do it very easily, some of them will have difficulties. So depending on them, I'll give them more time and uh, more help required. As soon as I see that they can easily count from 1 to 10, I'll proceed to my second stage, um, adding numbers from 1 to 10. Um, I will use the simple worksheet, which will uh, look like this. I'll ask my students to write their name here. Um, hopefully by that time they will know how to write their name. And um, we'll start with the easiest numbers like 1 and 2. I will explain my to my students that this sign is sign plus, which is used to add this number to this one. This, number, uh, this sign is uh, equal sign. And we use uh, this after we add this number to that one, and we write the result right here. The easiest way to teach the students to count the numbers like this is using the beans or fingers, but we can let our kids um, do it for a long time. So I will teach my uh, students um, to add these numbers with the help of dots. It will look uh, like this. One dot above digit one and two dots above digit two, which looks like this. And I will ask my students to count dots, which is one, two, and three. So we have the result number three. So I'm going to write this result right here. And we have number three. So it looks like this, one, two, three. The same procedure we're going to do with the numbers 3 and 4. I'm writing dots above digit 3. It doesn't have to be dots, it can be also circles or something else. It depends on the students and what uh, they would prefer to see above these digits. I would prefer to write the dots because this is the easiest for the students to understand. Now they can count, count the dots like 1 two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So, and right here they would, they would write the answer seven. This is very easy uh, task to accomplish. It's um, easy for students and it's easy for the teacher. And both, both the class and the, and the teacher, they have fun. And I think it's very easy for students to achieve this task. Again, um, while my students um, edit the numbers, I have to observe them and uh, provide them with the necessary help. And depending on like what kind of help the students need, uh, some students will grab it faster, some students uh, will do it right away, some students will need more help. Uh, so depending on them, using the scaffolding and zone of proximal development, I will help my students to achieve this task. This is basically all. Thank you for your uh, thank you for your attention. Have a good day.